Hey everybody, this is the Beware reading for your sign for this month. I'll do three spreads. What you need to be aware of this month spread, the advice spread, and the next good thing that will happen to you this month that will at least put a smile on your face spread. Please like, share and subscribe. Let's begin. Hi Scorpio, this is the Beware spread. We've got the Ten of Swords, we've got the Two of Swords, then we have the Chariot clarified by the Tower, we have uh, the Five of Cups, and we have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer. So, um, fortunately, it's one of the worst spreads, one of the worst Beware spreads I've done so far, and uh, you guys are number seven. Um, so the very first thing that I thought of when I saw the spread was... Uh, do not drink and drive. Don't. Okay? The chariot is clarified by the tower, right? The chariot in this case is uh, you driving, this is your vehicle, and the tower is uh, a collision. Okay? And then um, we have the Five of Cups right there, right next to the, right next to the deck. And uh, this is a card of... Um, regret and it's actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and the Five of Cups came out. So it, it's, it's the Five of Cups for a reason because cups carry liquids so you that's what you're looking at in that card and regretting what you've done. So do not drink and drive. Other cards here are pretty bad too. Um, so, like I said, the tower is uh, something being destroyed or some kind of an unexpected issue, problem, right? Then we have the Ten of Swords with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. So, um, Ten of Swords is coming to, coming to an abrupt end. The Two of Swords is the advice not to do it. And the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is, it kind of looks like somebody is, uh, is in jail. To be honest with you so hopefully you get the point don't drink and drive okay another way I can interpret this spread is uh, if you had some plans travel plans by yourself uh, with somebody else business travel plans or uh, leisure travel plans then those plans will fall through unfortunately most likely because of what's going on in the world. I'm recording it at the end of October and I've read a few articles. It's gonna get even worse pretty soon in a couple of weeks before it gets better. We're talking about COVID situation. So um, if you had plans to travel most likely they'll fall through. Um, yeah, If you're dealing with a cancer, because the chariot is the personal cancer card, then um, your relationship could be coming to an end with cancer. Okay, so that's what I have for you so far. Alright Scorpio, here's the second spread. The second spread is the advice. This is from your perspective, this is what you need to do. We have the Seven of Pentacles, we have uh, the High Priestess, and we have the Eight of Cups. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, so perhaps you're waiting for some kind of travel plans, or you're waiting for some kind of a party you want to drive to in November, or you're waiting for a relationship to be over, perhaps you, now, now that you've uh, watched this video, you know that uh, your relationship with a cancer, if you're dealing with a cancer, could be coming to an end. So use your intuition with the High Priestess and uh, either walk away first with the Eight of Cups or the Eight of Cups in this case is you avoiding something. You're walking away from uh, doing something. You're preventing it from happening. Right? So if you can cancel your travel plans now, then go ahead because most likely they'll be uh, they'll fall through anyway. Or if uh, you're seeing a cancer, then uh, you can take a preemptive action, I guess, and uh, just walk away because you're wasting your time. And uh, if you need to drive somewhere, just make sure you don't do it. Okay? Um, that's pretty much it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the third spread. Both of these spreads made me really, really sad. <laughs> okay, I want to see the next good thing that happens to you. 
All right, Scorpio, so here's the third spread. This spread is uh, all about the next good thing that will happen to you that will at least put a smile on your face. So we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands. And those two cards, the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands, came out together. They're not clarifying you know, one another. So yeah, you do have somebody coming towards you really, really quickly with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is either a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or this person is going to be very fiery and very passionate about you, right? It's kind of symbolic that the Knight of Wands is holding up a wand, and I think that's exactly the wand we see in the Ace of Wands. So it's passion galore. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, this person will be making you an offer that's going to be very grounded with the three of pentacles the first card on the left right this is something very grounded it's all about building a solid foundation building it from the ground up correctly and uh, we also have the two of cups right there in the middle the two of cups is uh, one of the best cards when it comes to love this is a uh, soulmate love unconditional love um, to me personally, the Two of Cups is all about two people being on the same page and uh, the feelings are going to be mutual between you and this personal uh, person. Perhaps not right away because uh, we, it's possible that uh, you are going through a major, a major event. The event we, see, we saw in the first two spreads, right? So perhaps uh, this love will grow on you, so to speak. But uh, this person will be really passionate about you, they will be really into you, and they will want to take this relationship further to the next level at some point, right? The next level that is whatever that level is for you. So this looks really promising. I didn't even need to pull any additional cards because we've got earth, we've got uh, water, and we've got fire here, right? So we've got three elements. It's going to be a very equal and, and uh, stable relationship with uh, groundedness, love and passion. So I'm really happy for you Scorpio. It will get better for you at some point in November. Alright, so that's what I got for you. Uh, please don't forget to watch uh, your weekly and your monthly readings on my channel and um, other than that, have a great month. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.